glamorous candidates of Guillaume, Pogay, and Gundam Gay, Nana in 2002, in their Kajawan inspired costume. If we work together, 
we can have an amazing world where those who are positive in COVID-19 could not grow and foster. Thank you. LGBTQ rights are human rights. Around the world, LGBTQ people continue to face widespread stigma, exclusion, and discrimination, including in education, employment, and health care, as well as within home and communities. Most countries, LGBTQ individuals have no legal access to legal recognition. We face harassment and even emotional abuse. Not totally accepted, but merely tolerated. I am an advocate of pushing the rights of the LGBTQ people into legalization. And it is a high time for us to live our lives without the hesitation of being discriminated. Because after all, we are all equal in the eyes of God. And all we need is love, respect, and acceptance. Thank you. We speak with an LGBT, LGBT community itself. The biggest problem of the LGBT community is the lack of is the lack of respect. <laughs> sa loob, sa loob mismo ng LGBT community ay walang respeto sa isa't isa. Pero kung hindi tayo respeto sa isa, kailangan respetahan natin ang isa't isa upang ma ma sa loob ng at magsisiraan we pushing for respect and at ay bukit to all the LGBT community at to encourage and at I am to advocate unity and respect societal harassment, discrimination, and violence. It is important to note that LGBTQ community is not a singular nation. The community building's environment promotes sense of affiliation with something larger than oneself. It decreases feelings of isolation and alienation by promoting pride and empowerment. I believe that changes are essential for individuals who have marginalized by mainstream society, rejected by heterosexual and non-transgender family and friends. Thank you. We have understood with the LGBT community, people in the fight for equality. As we continue to fight back against this wish this country backwards, by your frame or commitment to building a world where no one experiences discrimination or violence. Things of their gender identity, gender expression, or sexual orientation. We determined to stand up, push forward, and continue organizing for change. Thank you. Teaching proper education opens up a house of opportunity. And this is especially relevant in the times we live with technology. And education ensures that opportunities are not bound by geography, but it is based on how the teachers instead of knowledge and passion and sharing their expertise to the young children. Because a world prioritized and sufficient and proper education is a world that creates a better generation. And every person's future is brought upon proper education. So ladies and gentlemen, let us all understand that teaching proper education to our young children will be the passport for tomorrow's for futures who we'll prepare it. Thank you. Growing up, being part of the LGBTQIA plus community make me understand that we are merely underestimated with society. It even labels us to be solid or worse, burden. Unless you are rich, you are famous, you get the highest respect from the society. In comparison to what they know about us, gays are 
and actually capable of doing things more than what you expect us to do. These are actually innovative, creative, and talented. In every of us, in each of you, there is a goal to be made. In fact, some are actually good in doing makeups, in academic, in agriculture, and even in social. So, why are we going to just doubt someone who is not um, in your standard of the gender? Growing up, I experienced a lot of discrimination and insecurities, especially with me speaking voice because I sound so feminine, but this is actually not a hindrance to still speak up about my past. Today, I, tonight, I advocate for um, skill development and personality development, and I believe it's still all about speaking, and today I am able to use it for my ultimate test, which is to speak about what I am really concerned. Someone believe in me, and someone make me realize what I am capable of, and today I am making you all understand what it is important to talk about for a cause. I am Dave Gonzalez, and today, tonight, brother, be with me as I create the world of difference in people's life. Thank you. Which is 
actually that education is the most powerful thing that you can use. That you can use. To that you can use to help. That, that you can use to help. That education is. That you can use in order to change the world.
realize the profession among LGBT elderly citizens. This campaign focuses the needs of our beloved elderly citizens in the Philippines. I am aware that not all the people are successful in their life. They can reach their goal due to some reason. I have been one experiencing one of my friends who are suffering and experiencing difficulties in life and everything I not do. What I am trying to emphasize my advocacy is to help opportunity to answer the needs of our beloved elderly citizens. I will take this opportunity to raise my voice as an LBT of a lawmaker of our national government to follow the law about the needs of our elderly citizens in the Philippines, which is the LGBTQ plus community. I know a lot of LGBT people are experiencing of being abandoned by their parents and relatives. Lacking of education, experiencing of discrimination, and these people need for food, clothes, shelter, and medical assistance. I will encourage to our government to give and support, to give a livelihood projects to answer their needs. For this reason, I will encourage to all LGBT people to take this action in a simple way. Thank you. widespread discrimination and exclusion in all contexts, including multiple forms of discrimination based on sexual orientation, gender identity, and expression. Being a bisexual person and a member of LGBTQIA plus community, I was radically discriminated as and bullied, which is lead me to suffer all forms of distress. However, with the love and support of my family, I can still see the rainbow of hope that we can still create a safe space for the LGBTQIA plus community. Remember that we made history and significant contribution in the face, even in the face of the society that discriminate us or pretend we do not exist. Ladies and gentlemen, join me to take this images accelerate Let's end gender-based violence against, gen against LGBTQIA plus community. Thank you. I've heard it a couple of times. Few may take it seriously. Others turn a blind eye, while some are still deaf. Kabataan ang pag-asa ng bayan. This no longer holds power and value because even the youths are not given this premium importance and do not embody its meaning. Few more months to go and we will be elected as officials. But are we going to vote someone because he or she is our friend? Siblings? Our acquaintance? Well, absolutely no. Let this time be the time for real change. Let our votes matter like how we want to change it really happens. Let this time be the time for youth's better future. It's time here tonight to encourage everyone to let us vote for someone who is competent and reliable, who knows what his or her job is and to whom he or she is working for because of this are the bare minimum. Hence, we hold ourselves accountable for the rest of the days to come. And today shall be the start. Thank you and good evening. There are certain factors that should have put some consideration in order to protect our environment. Your environment is now in danger. Facing a lot of a problem should use illegal logging, illegal mining, tying, improper waste disposal, etc. Used by human beings, I believe that now it's time for us to open your eyes, 
Use your hand to take action and use your voice and voice out. Advocacy is conserving, protect our environment. This is Ryan James C. Talisaysay, advocating environmental conserving the producing for society of San Francisco. And now I would, we have put in mind, advocacy can stand without, without us, but we can stand without environment. Thank you and good evening. The world is evolving, and so the way of life has also changed. From two identified sexes, the male and the female, now expanded to a new colorful and amazing third sex, the LGBTQIA plus community. As a proud member of the third sex, I want to advocate these three R's, respect, responsibility, and recognition. Respect begets respect and it must start within ourselves. We ought to respect others, and we deserve to be respected in return. Responsibility, just like men and women, we also want to hold the responsibility in our society without critic, judgment, and stereotyping. And last, but definitely not the least, Recognition, the most important factor that can turn our dreams into realities. We don't want you to recognize us either male or female, but rather than recognizing us as a fully independent third sex, we want to be someone in the society. We want to take up space. Nothing is more important than taking up space in the society. And so, I am humbly asking you to hear us and unite with us to change the world. Thank you. Confusion on the rule and identity on gender of the LGBTQIA plus community have been one of the reasons why stereotyping occurred. Through this, I want to advocate gender sensitivity awareness, especially on rules and identities of every gay. I want to educate people that the term gay is to classify us in general, particularly speaking, we are subcategorized into specific identities such as bisexual, heterosexual, transsexual, and the likes. And it follows further that different identities come out different unique rules in the society that we will take part with to make this place, world the best place to live. Thank you. Standing before you, someone who has been deprived of a friend's love. I grew up in a broken family, and it's very hard for me to seize every moment when you know that you are the only one telling yourself that you are loved and good enough. However, this is something that I want everyone to know that life difficulties can hinder us to strive even more in life, but it won't stop us to be the best version of ourselves. My advocacy is about mental health. It plays a vital role in our life, and this is something that I want to address. We went to different fast experiences and about to embrace what lies ahead of us. But one thing that we should always remember, positive days can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the lights. Thank you.
of what I am carrying tonight. My advocacy is bamboo product injecting values and preservation towards culture. A unique rapid growth, amazing plan, plays a large role in the local community, protecting our planet from pollution and improving the soil. We highlight the benefits of bamboo used for architecture, construction application, for decoration, and the food produced by bamboo is what we call the bowl, which is flexible for making recipe and other bamboo product that can create job opportunity. Bamboo helps a particular community, like her in our municipality, and especially to my beloved barangay, which is the Barangay Makupa, the only barangay who continue and preserve the production of bamboo products. So ladies and gentlemen, let's help to preserve and continue and share to other society on what we have. Joining our hearts together with our hearts and mind, preserving on what we have. Just like Kajawan, the higher you grow, the deeper you bow. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my advocacy, my brother, injecting values and preservation towards culture. Thank you.